in UT News. I'm Commander Weber with a WNUT News Brief. Uh, we're learning right now that the jazz man's swing the right way TikTok dance actually has gone quite viral. It has gotten several hundred thousand hits in the last 24 hours and is climbing steadily on its way to a million yes, as we yes. speak. You see, motherfuckers, uh, I told you, motherfuckers, I said it would happen. I told you I would go viral as a motherfucker up in this bitch and what happened? Well, uh, uh, Jazz Man, there's more to the story. If you would just let me finish. Uh, it turns out that uh, it has been catching on like wildfire in the LGBTQ plus community. What? And uh, it is becoming somewhat of an anthem. Uh, among that uh, community. See, huh? Now, now I, I, I would caution you, Jazz Man, that things are different in 2022 than they were back in what might be considered your heyday. And, uh, you know... Man, if, I know if, that. Uh, you... Listen, see, what you don't know about the Jazz Man is I ain't the same conflicted cat that I used to be. See, I used to be afraid of that, which I did not understand. But the jazz man's heart and mind have opened a lot in these last 20 years. Now, I live and let love. And if it's my destiny to be an icon in the LGT, what you said, community, then so be it. The jazz man will rise to that duty. That's what she said. Shut up. So in conclusion, whichever way you swing, let the record show that it is the right way. In UT News, you hear it first. In UT News, I'm Commander Weber with a WNUT News Brief. Uh, show a couple of songs ago when I was missing in action for a little while. I was uh, out recording and posting my own TikTok dance video. And I'm now happy to report that I, Commander Weber, am currently going viral on the platform. What the fuck? <laughs> That's right. Turns out the youth of America really seem to connect with this old retired seaman. And high schoolers all across the nation are currently making and posting their own videos doing the gut strut. You mean to tell me you named a dance after your massive old man gut? Damn right I did. You gotta shake what your mama gave you, you know. Well, ain't that just some bullsh- In UT News, you hear it first. In UT News. This is Commander Weber with a WNUT News Brief. Uh, in a press release issued Wednesday morning, Eric Church has uh, canceled an upcoming April 2nd concert in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the reason given is that he will apparently be attending the Duke-UNC game with his family and friends and cheering on uh, his basketball team there in person. Yeah, but WNUT has learned that this was much more favorable to him than spending a Saturday night with 18,000 people who listen to that Eric Church bullshit. Please stay tuned right here to WNUT for future updates. In UT News, you hear it first. In UT News. This is Commander Weber with a WNUT News Brief. Uh, the board of directors of Twitter publicly accepted Elon Musk's offer to buy the company and social network for a reported $44 billion on Monday. Financial analysts call it the most money spent on a huge repository of meaningless drivel since Stephanie Meyer was on the New York Times bestseller list. Republicans call it a big win for free speech, citing Twitter's ban of former President Donald Trump in the days following the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot and the fact-checking of conspiracy theories like alleged fraud in the 2020 election, though they still absolutely believe the NFL should stop people from kneeling. Yeah, also, since free speech apparently now means what some company will let you say in their lobby, fellow eccentric billionaire Jeff Bezos is looking into buying McDonald's to protect Americans' freedom to sing two live crews me so horny at the top of their lungs in the dining room. Uh, please stay tuned here to WNUT for future updates. In UT News, you hear it first. News. Yeah, 
you. This is Commander Weber with a WNUT news brief. Uh, crypto markets have plummeted in the last 24 hours, losing nearly a trillion dollars in value since Wednesday. Uh, former millionaires took to the streets early Thursday morning to unload their now worthless NFTs, throwing in blowjobs and bags of cheeseburgers to the deal for added value. Bored Ape Yacht Club responded to the crash by issuing a new series of NFTs depicting the popular mascot wearing a McDonald's visor and ringing up fast food orders. One investor who's been banking on this day coming for years is Captain G, who made off like a bandit before the markets tank this week. G is currently considering his next business venture, and rumor has it he may be staking out a spot in the fast food game. Stay tuned to WNUT for future updates. In UT News, you hear it first. In UT News. Yeah, this is uh, Commander Weber with the news here on WNUT. Uh, having gotten out of the crypto game just in time for the big crypto crash this past summer, uh, Captain G is now rolling in dough while tons of people lost a mint. He's reportedly looking into investing in a chain of fast food restaurants as his next side hustle. Uh, Also in related news, uh, having lost a mint in all of my crypto investments on the advice of Captain Fucking G, uh, I have arranged a financing option with Burger King, uh, and in January I'll finally own the value meal that I just ate, following four monthly payments of $1.75 at 0.7% interest. This has been Commander Weber with your news on WNUT. In UT News, you hear it first. In UT News. Yeah, this is Commander Weber with a WNUT News Brief. Uh, mere hours after the death of Queen Elizabeth II yesterday, CNN's Bernard Shaw arrived in heaven to report on the Queen's passing. Uh, Fellow newsmen Edward R. Murrow, Peter Jennings, and Tim Russert called it the finest piece of journalism they'd ever seen. Uh, The Queen's passing at 96 years of age makes her the first person to die on the throne since the King, Elvis Presley. Also, in other news, I'm pretty sure I'm about to get my ass handed to me by Brandon, who just got kicked in the scrotum by Tiffany, who then fled the building immediately. And I was away from my post... So he's probably going to bend me over and tie me up to a pole and stretch my nuts back and fling him up my butthole. In UT News, you hear it first. J-A-Z News. Yeah, this is uh, Commander Weber with a WNUT, uh, Jesus Christ, it's the wrong station. I'm, uh, I'm on WJAZ now. It's been a little while. I haven't haven't done the JAZ news since 1999, so you got to give me a second. Uh, here with a WJAZ news brief, this is Commander Weber. Uh, the Black Crows, uh, this past Sunday at a concert, uh, attacked a dude who climbed up on stage uh, with a guitar. Not the, the dude that climbed up on stage didn't have the guitar. The, he got attacked with a guitar by the band. They literally swung a guitar at the dude, hit him in the neck, you know, because he climbed up on stage, and, and I guess they were a little concerned about what his intentions might be. Uh, so as soon as he heard this, Will Smith said, Holy Jesus, I had it completely ass backwards. He then booked a world tour for 2023 called I Dare You, Motherfuckers. Also, uh, James Cameron is set to debut the uh, long-awaited sequel to Avatar on December 16th in theaters worldwide, uh, known as The Way of Water. This uh, sequel is the longest one in the making ever, except for WJAZ-7. It, uh, yeah, it took us a little while to get this one out. Uh, and, and finally, the uh, University of Maine has uh, debuted the very first ever 3D printed house. That's right, an entire house completely 3D printed from the floors to the ceilings and uh, from the windows to the walls to the sweat, never mind, uh, which is probably the raddest way we have found so far to say to half a million homeless people, check out what the fuck rich people can do now.
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to look into the cost of 3D printing a massage parlor. <coughs> this has been Commander Weber with a WJAZ News Update. <coughs> JAZ News. And this is Commander Weber with a WJAZ News Update. Uh, Christine McVie of Fleetwood Mac passed away on Wednesday at the age of 79. Uh, the cause of death was determined yesterday by doctors to be several decades of first-hand exposure to Fleetwood Mac, which will do it every time. Also, the Killers, the Lumineers, and Muse have been chosen to headline next year's Shaky Knees Festival happening in Atlanta, Georgia in May. Other performers include the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, the Mars Volta, and Hosier. Uh, Shaky Knees celebrates its 10th anniversary next year and apparently thought it was booking the 2013 event when it announced this lineup. Ticket pre-sale begins today. If you'd like to go hear a bunch of bands play that one song you kind of remember liking between 10 and 15 years ago. And finally, a TikTok challenge called the Blackout Challenge is killing users of the popular social media app. The challenge encourages people to choke themselves unconscious and apparently motherfuckers just go, hey, that sounds like a lovely idea, and then murder themselves directly into an early grave. When reached for comment, Charles Darwin's ghost facepalmed, then his corpse spun in its grave so hard it solved the energy crisis. Wow. This has been Commander Weber with a WJAZ News Update. JAZ News. Yeah, this is Commander Weber with a WJAZ News Brief. Uh, Shalene Dion announced on Instagram yesterday that she has been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, which is impacting her to the point where she can't sing and perform as she normally does. As a result, she's canceling her 2023 tour dates, which she hopes to reschedule at a later time. On a related note, your mom diagnosed me with stiff person syndrome last night, and the night before that, and the night before that. In fact, every time I'm around your mom, I find myself impacted with stiff person syndrome, which can only be treated by impacting your mom for approximately 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, come on, man. That's fucked up. This has been Commander Weber with the WJAG News Update. <laughs>